we have to allow that to be efficient for everybody that's going to be here, whether it's the residents in here, whether it's the community that comes in here. We have to make sure that's protected and safe for them. That's our purpose in the planning department. Okay. Tell okay. me your name again. My name is Gracie. Gracie. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gracie. And Victoria D'Angelo is our regional manager for the planning department. She would be the one that actually reviews and goes over things that you're going to have to need or do to make changes of what's going on. Yes, ma'am. But I'm just here to advise you that this needs to be the step you do Monday, um, just based on the fact that your intent is to go ahead and go through with this. We need to have that on file. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, so that that needs to be a very direct step. Very okay. Soon. okay. Thank you. Anyone else have to? Yeah, after Wes, I will. Again, to the Planning Commission. I'm trying to help you, Forrest. I gave you three opportunities to back up. Bonifay, but 
I know a lot of the people that live in that area and they're not very trustworthy. We're here, they're over there. And it's no disrespect to anybody. I just, that's my personal belief on the matter. And that's where the house was. Um, where exactly will they be living? Over there. Okay, so this will be the church. That'll be the living area. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Um, no disrespect to Mr. Hat. None at all. But he is the outgoing sheriff. And I don't mean to put Mr. Cruz on the spot, but have y'all even spoken to him? Because, no offense to him, that's going to be his headache, and not his. Yeah. I think Forrest has talked to him. Okay, but have you had at all? No, I haven't talked okay. to him. Um, is that, is that going to be a future meeting? Not to put you on the spot. I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it, it will be a future meeting. And we that, that question is actually towards him. Okay. Because uh, he's got to respect that, too. I'm sure you guys now have a motive, too. Is that something? I don't mean to put you on the spot at all, sir. No, I, I'll, I'm be sorry. To meet, I'll be happy sorry. to meet, you know, with, with, with these guys and happy to meet with you guys. Okay. Um, so as far as that, let me rephrase. There's no personal guarantee from anybody on your side that if something bad happens to any one of us or any of our properties or anything of that such, that you guys are going to be personally held accountable. We can't sue you guys or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. They have to come over here. That's where we're going to make you come to me. No, 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 no. Well, okay. Let, let's, let's just say hypothetically. Now you're good for you. Yeah, everybody here has property. Everybody here has stuff that they own. It, it's getting bad. Um, something comes up. One of the people, the residents that you guys have here, let's say, comes and steals something. They get accused of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they're personally held responsible, but at what point are y'all in check? We're not, because here's the thing. And, and the rules and regulations, and there's nothing that says that they won't do it. But here's the thing is, we are going to be watching. Now, they might go outside, they might go off. But if they leave this property, and it's in our rules and regulations, if they leave this property, guess what? You're going to find it somewhere else to live. I don't know if that would be disrespectful, but this is, this is a pretty big area to get lost in. They, I, I've lived here for a very long time. My grandfather, um, a lot of people may remember my granddad, Bill Ross. Um, there was a lot of people a long time ago that used to come out here to get lost for that sole reason that you couldn't get found out here. Um, there's no check and balance. And the last question I have is, is there a temporary plan for you guys to stay here or is this a lifelong plan for you guys to stay here? We don't know what God's going to do. But here, 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 here's the thing. I, not to take God out of the equation, but what is your plan? My plan is to have a bigger plan. We here? Not Okay. The, the association has um, part of that uh, um, recommendation that was voted on was for an annual one year and then ev and, uh, evaluate it after a year, look at how things are going, and uh, keep it on a year-to-year -year basis. That's okay. the way we do with many of the other ministries that, that operate in the same way. All right, I, got, I, I actually got one more question and I'll step away. Um, one of the things I was coming across in doing some of my research, and I'm, I'm hoping that the Baptist Association took this in full effect and it's no disregard to you guys, but the one thing that a lot of people um, have had big concerns about, not here, but in other ministries, quote, that have come up, is property values immediately drop. Uh, have you, the Baptist Association, taken into effect any of that? Yes, and talking with Gil Carter, uh, from their perspective, ministries like this don't impact, from their perspective, they don't impact property value. I'm trying to sell a house right now. I know the property value is determined by me and the person wanting to buy it. That, and, and you said Mr. Gil Carter says this? Mr. Gil Carter, okay. yes, in looking at um, property values. Did, did Mr. Gil Carter get anybody else's opinion on that, like future people that may be looking to move in? No, okay. it's just during just a one-on-one -on -one meeting. No, that, that's all I have. Thank you. But I got something to say. And, and that is here, we're not coming out here to knock on your door or nothing. If you know, if you need help, if there's somebody that needs their yard or or whatever, we can help you. We want to do that. Now, if you don't want to be a part of us, you ain't got to come up here knocking on our door. So, well, that's up to you, buddy. The thing about it is, the, the thing about it is, the thing about it is, we're not coming out here to cause no problems. We're not. I, I actually
actually got one more thing to say. I, I think the biggest problem, I know for me, the, the one thing that just does not make sense, and I, I would have to assume that multiple people probably feel the same way. I haven't really spoken to anybody, but you're bringing people out here that possibly have drug problems, right? Yes. Okay. Anybody that's lived out here, whether we know somebody personally or not, knows that there's drugs in this area. I'm a big boy. You ain't gonna take me into a candy store and say I can't eat nothing. It just seems like a lot of temptation and a low success rate for this area when there's nothing else to do. And I get that you guys are gonna cart them off and try to help them and it, it's not necessarily that nobody here wants to help people. It just seems like a really bad location. You would think that you would try to find something within town to where they could walk or they could get somewhere or they could go do something or could go grocery shopping. I think that answer was answered earlier before us. I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Yeah, then that, go ahead and uh, rephrase that. Because of all the temptation. Now here, these guys, better, I better not catch them away from here going down there bothering anybody. Okay. Why would you feel the need to give them a drug test if they're supervised 24 hours a day? Wait a minute. If you got drugs, you got drugs, you got crime no matter where you go. That's well, right. These guys, Correct. These guys will be here. They're not going to be down there knocking on your door. They better not be. Right. You say we got crime anywhere we go. Now this does give people more of a reason. And it's possibly going to make you guys look better. I know that's that's going to kind of... That's, that's something I'm sure y'all aren't worried about, but it's going to make y'all look worse in the long run because it may give somebody an excuse because the first place that everybody's going to look at now is here. They're not going to look elsewhere. They're going to look at here and go, well, it's got to be one of these new guys coming in that's causing all this trouble. Yeah, we got crime right everywhere. You, you're no denying that. But if, somebody, if, if somebody comes up here and says one of these guys did something, I hope we got some evidence, okay, and bring the police with you. Right. Because if they've done something wrong, the police can take them to them. But you've already said you're not going to be held personally responsible for if somebody done something, but you've already vetted them. So... The police have already said that they don't have the resources. And you said... Well, I said that to my children. I better not find out. Well, you know what this says? You won't find out. You won't find out, Mom. And that's not funny, but it's funny because, and you said we're not going to have rapists and we're not going to have um, murderers and we're not going to have child molesters. Who is it going to be out here? A select few. Of what? Of my, what? We're not bringing somebody out here with major crimes. Somebody's having a, a drug or alcohol. Sheriff there was talking about the farm over in Montefiore. Right. And it's way out in the country as well. Right. Because of the temptation of being in town and all. Right. The success rate of these uh, ministries is very, very low as far as people returning back to prison. And that's because God is changing lives. Yes, he is. Now, and he's changing These lives. guys are going to be here. We're not going to become knocking on your door asking you for anything. We're here. Yes, ma'am. If you would stand. Yes, ma'am. You say you're going to run this, whatever you want to call it, on donations, right? You're going to pay the association one dollar a year for the building. Who's paying for the electric? We are. With what? What if you don't get donations? That's what I'm saying. What? Ma'am. I'll answer that for you. Who is going to pay for all the remodeling you're going to have to do? We're not going to do that. That's our responsibility. We're not going to do a lot of remodeling. But where's the money coming from is what she's asking. What donations, what happens if you don't get donations from this community? We already have resources. How much money are you going to donate? So how much money are you getting from our Baptist Association? 
other than the Baptist Association? I can answer that quickly for you. We have not committed any money to the House of Grace. We want to partner with them and assist them. But just like any ministry, we have Love in Action, we have uh, the Armstrong House, we have Disaster. We've got a number of ministries, primarily, and that's the way it works. No, sir, they do not live here. Uh, we have a number of ministries, and they all operate based off of the amount of uh, resources that come to them. And when they don't have resources, they can't do ministry. And so it is their responsibility, it will be his responsibility to raise those funds. Now, the best place for a faith-based organization to go is to other like-minded people. So he would be traveling around the churches, across the panhandle, because there's not another ministry like this in the panhandle. So he has the freedom to go across the panhandle and raise funds as he needs. But he said he was going to be here like 24-7. Right. That's what and when he is not here, those men can travel with him. Are they? That's the way he operated in Boniface. Everyone. Jesus Christ is my Savior, and I believe everything that Jesus said. Some of the things that you said, my belief were wrong. We're all sinners. We were born, we were born sinners. There are many people that doesn't believe this. I was raised Roman Catholic. I went to a Baptist church or something, and I was immense, baptized in a creek. There's a whole different people don't know. You call yourselves Christians, but then some of them aren't Christians. They still want to do what they want to do and heck with everything else. Thank you. Thank you. I know I'm running off the mail, but what I'm saying is we have our love in action. We have all this. We have our ministry. We have our orphans for all that stuff. I'm going to ask. Yes, ma'am. But he's... Things that he has said is not making sense to me. Okay. Well, I'm and not going to give him any money. That, and that's fine. Okay. My money is going to be clear. Well, and thank you for your support. Let me let the gentleman at the microphone share. Yeah, I've got a question. I'm not for this. I've uh, dealt with this. I've uh, transported uh, one from halfway houses and the 15 that I transported back and forth to work, 12 of them within 30 to 60 days went back to jail doing the same crap. Now, I've got a question. What if it went through a local review board? Whoever it is you want to bring in here, we get to see who it is, what their offenses are. Very good question. And you know what? I want your help. I will bring their applications. I will bring what they're charged. If you want to go, any of you want to go over it, I'll be glad to share it with you. We got I'm enough. not talking about just me. I'm talking I about setting up a local committee. If somebody and wants if we to decide that somebody does not fit here, then they don't commit. Very well. If that's what you want to do, I'll be glad to accept it. Be glad to accept it. But no, here's the thing. everybody else. No. 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 Thank you for that. Let's let this gentleman step up and ask him if, if there's not any, after he speaks, if there's not any questions. Just wait, just wait right here. Just wait, okay. okay. So you two. Uh, the gentleman right here has got something to say. All right. Come on. Go ahead, Miss Betty. Okay. 